Hello everyone. Hope all of you are doing well and working on your websites. In the last week, we prepared our rough website using the WordPress. But you have to admit one thing that this website is not looking that great as it should be because there are so many features such as contact form, social sharing form and the security features these are missing from our website. To add all these features, we have to make use of plugins. So this module is specially dedicated to the plugins where we will study and discuss that how to install the plugins and what are other details about the plugins that we are going to talk about. So specifically in this module, we will learn what is WordPress plugin, how to install and use WordPress plugins to design various WordPress websites, and lastly, how to use the Elementor plugin. If you are ready, let us begin. The obvious question in mind is, what are plugins? According to WP Beginners, a plugin is a piece of software containing a group of functions that can be added to a WordPress website. Plugins can extend functionality or add new feature to the WordPress websites. There are two types of plugins, free and premium plugins. In this module, just for the learning purpose, we will discuss few free plugins. Once you all are expert in digital marketing, you may think to upgrade to the premium versions. That will open the new way of using the some additional features of these plugins. How to install plugin? The process of installing the WordPress plugin is very simple. Go to plugin from WordPress dashboard. Click on add new. Here is the list of plugins. You may filter the plugins on the basis of features, popularity and recommendations. You may also use the search option to select an appropriate plugin out of the millions of plugins waiting for you to be used. Plugins are so versatile in nature. Just think about any additional feature or anything else you want to do with your website. The plugin will be there for you. Type one or two keywords in the search bar and a long list of plugins will be shown as under. Suppose I want to add contact form to my website to enable my visitor to submit their queries and comments online. Just search for the contact form in the search bar. It will show you many plugins for this purpose. My favorite is contact form 7. You can check the popularity of any plugins on the basis of number of active installations and the ratings. Want to learn more about the plugins? Click more details. Let us install it by clicking install now. Once installed, click activate. You may see list of all plugins just by clicking install plugins. Make sure your installed plugin is visible in this list. Let us create a contact page first. Go to pages, add new page, give a suitable title like contact us, ask us, contact me and so on. Write something specific if you want, like if you have any query, write to us here. Now click on add block. Here we have to use the short code. Select short code. If it is not visible, then search for short code. You have to enter the short code here. But where is the short code? Go to contacts and click contact form. Here you will see the short code. Select and copy it. Go back to all pages. This is the page that you have just created. Click edit and paste this code here. Your contact form is ready. Let us preview it. You can see some important fields like name, mail, subject and messages all are automatically created. Once you will publish it, it will be visible to your visitor and customers and they can use it to communicate with you. But 
where is it on my website it will not be visible until you link this page to something else on your website the one way that we can show it in the menu follow the process of adding any item to the menu from appearance go to customize click to primary menu and click plus sign to add it to the menu let us check it on our website now yes it is there and it is working there are few popular plugins for contact us like wp form gravity form etc just play around these plugins and you will find more features of contact us form that is all you have learned how to add a plugin how to add slider to home or any page of your website what is a slider a slider is a slide show added to a web page mostly with the images and sometimes with the videos too look here this is an example of slider you can move the slides one by one or automatically seems very attractive and catchy it will improve the aesthetic look of your website as well now let us see how to add it for this purpose you have to add plugin smart slider 3 follow the same process to install the plugin that i discussed previously search for smart slider it is here 4 lakh installations are there for this plugin install and activate it you will see smart slider is here this is the dashboard of smart slider you can create the slider from scratch or you can use the template library let us create from scratch give name to the slider use full width and create now you have to add images here for your slider you may simply drag and drop the images here or click add slide images and select from media if images are not in media then you have to upload the images first to the library then you can use it our four images are added to the slider here are bunch of settings to customize the slider just play around these settings now let us add it to the first page copy this code and save the slider remember the name create a new page or you may add the slider to the existing page as well add a short code block using plus sign check the preview before you publish it you can also use this to design beautiful sliders import the template added the slides as per your requirement from slider copy the code and paste it here your slider is ready i hope these two plugins have given you the fair idea that what are plugins and how to leverage the power of plugins in the favor of our website to make it beautiful now in the next video i will talk about few more plugins